Nurses say they have been left blindsided and feel they've been lied to in pay negotiations. Their latest pay equity offer does not include a promised full back pay. It comes after years of ongoing pay disputes and protests to eliminate the gender pay gap, all during a nursing shortage. Ashley Yates has more. Michelle May has worn the uniform of a nurse for eight years. To her, nursing isn't just a job, it's her life. It's definitely um, a passion, it's something I've worked hard for. I've spent many years training. Um, it's about caring for others. But it's a profession she's lost faith in, especially after the sector's latest pay equity offer. Overall, the feelings are of real frustration. We feel we've been lied to. Because it's not what they expected. One condition of an earlier agreement stated any new salary grades would be backdated to the end of 2019. That's been scrapped. Instead, a recognition of past work pro rata payment is being offered, capped at $10,000. One Auckland nurse News Hub has spoken to says she should be owed around five times that if it was backdated in full. Calculating full back pay for individual nurses was deemed too complicated and would have delayed the new pay rates by two to three years. Trying to get the new pay rates right now um, was, was seen to be a better beneficial outcome going forward. But of course that meant that the back pay issue that the members are talking about now was compromised in terms of the full extent of what they expected to get. She says the offer includes significant pay equity increases, affecting 40,000 people. It's actually demonstrated that nursing work had been undervalued for many years and, and now these new pay rates are actually reflective of um, other male-dominated occupations that get paid more, have been being paid more than nurses until now. In a statement, a spokesperson for all DHBs says the proposed settlement's an important step towards an historic agreement. It includes lump payments and pay increases to achieve pay equity. But thousands still want it fully back paid, signing this petition created by Michelle. Most nurses would be more than happy to wait to get what's owed to us, especially when it's such a big amount. Nurses will have the chance to vote on the proposed agreement from the 20th of April. Ashley Yates, News Hub.